Hey everyone, this is Danielle from Blank Canvas and I'm really excited about today's tutorial. I am a pooey person. I love pooeys. I love yellow pooeys, I love pink pooeys, I love yellow pooey and pink pooeys together. I just love pooeys. So I got really, really excited when I saw um, the first of the yellow pooeys come out for this season and I just decided I would do an inspired look by them. So this look is going to be all about pinks and yellows and I hope you like it. It's my tribute to being a Caribbean girl and keep on watching the tutorial to find out how I got this look done. So the first thing I'm going to use is this cream eyeshadow from Revlon from their palette. And I'm going to use this matte color and putting it all over my eyelid. Ideally you really need to put a primer underneath this else it's going to crease. I'm going to use my first favorite yellow eyeshadow. I'm going to use this with a pencil brush and putting this in the inner corner right into the first seal of the mobile eyelid. And this is from Ellie's Flash. It's called Sea of Gold. So I'm just patting it on there to just really get some good intensity and just mimic that bright yellow color of the Pui. For the middle of the lid, I'm going to be using this color called Fiery from Hip Shocking Pigments. And it comes off as a kind of lilac -y pink. So I'm putting this in the middle of the lid. I'm overlapping a little bit with the yellow gold from LA Splash. To add a bit of dimension, I'm using this matte fuchsia pink. And this is from Milani from their paint palette. I'm using this in the outer corner with the brush that came from the hip pigment and putting it in the outer corner and just really patting it on there. I'm going in with that same brush and that same color and putting it in my crease. So right above where I had put those initial three colors, I'm putting the pink, that bright matte pink in the crease. I'm blending it up, up until the brow bone. I'm going deep into the inner corner as well, over the yellow. I'm just really smoothing that out. On top of that, I'm going to place the fiery from the hip just to give it a little bit of shimmer because that's the main color of the pink pui, that kind of lilac -y pink. So I want that to star on top there as well. And I'm going to put as my highlight color, the one right under the brow, I'm going back in with an angled brush this time to put in the sea of gold, that yellow gold color. I'm really blending that one out. I'm going to fill in my brows now with a small angle brush and my Arista matte brown eyeshadow. I'm just going to fill in my brows before I continue with the rest of my eye work. As usual, I do my brows more or less the same way with a few nuances. Um, I have an eyeshadow tutorial so you can look at that if you like. I'm going back in with a uh, shader brush and the sea of gold. I'm putting that right under my brow. And with a pencil brush, I'm using the fiery, the lilac pink. I'm using that on my lower lash line. With the white from the Milani palette, I'm using the pencil brush. I'm putting that right under the arch to get a really nice highlight, add a little more dimension to the look. And I'm putting that also right in the inner lacrimal area just to give the look some brightness. The gel liner now, I'm using with an eyeliner brush and I'm just making a very simple line across my upper lash line from the inner corner, moving thinly and then thickening up as I go towards the outer corner. I'm not really making a wing or such, I'm just extending a little bit as I go down following the shape of the eye and I'm pulling it back all against the lower lash line just the tiniest bit on the outer corner 
with the Craft to Be on Right Cream Foundation. I'm putting that on my waterline, my lower waterline, to open up the eye and give it a freshness and a youthfulness that I associate with the Pui. For my blush, I'm using Fashion Indian Rose. I'm using this little stippling brush. I'm just putting this on my cheekbones. And then on top of that, with the same brush, I'm using this shimmery light pink color from Revlon, from their Floral Affair brush. And I'm using a nude pink um, lip liner, and then petal pink, and then Raisin Pearl, and then I'm going to finish off with some lashes. So this is the finished look. Um, it's just supposed to be fresh and youthful and just very reminiscent of what a Caribbean grill is all about. Just bright and fun-loving and youthful and pretty with lots of color. I just I just like these colors together because I love Pui. And it's just so much a part of me. I just wish I could do this look all the time. I got a lot of compliments when I wore it out. Um, so I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.